Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Apart from that, other churches that claim that they don't do politics, like SDA, I was laughing at them the other day, when a church was going through hell, when a church was being persecuted here and there, when a church was being nearly killed, SDA ran away. They said, we don't do politics, so anything politics, don't call that. Even in their church, just to mention and defend their son. Just to say, leave our son alone. Our son did not do anything to you. They didn't do it. Catholic was the one fighting. HH is not a member of Catholic, but it was Catholic that was fighting for him. SDA was, no, we don't have involved ourselves in politics. But immediately HH won election and he was sworn in. They are the first church to go to state house to go and conduct service. <laughs> Hypocrite! <laughs> Criminals! <laughs> Criminals that are using church to scam people. Criminals that are using Holy Bible to deceive people. They are the first ones to go to state house. You leave your church, you go to state house, you conduct service. What? State house is the center of politics. When he was in opposition, ah, we don't do politics. You can see that Christianity is a, is a joke. <laughs> Religion is a joke. <laughs> you believe me or you don't believe me? <laughs> Church, even now, they don't do politics. Ah, we don't do politics. We are SDA. Jehovah, our, our benefit is in the Lord. Our holiness is on the... That's why a church... When I start to fight you, my brother, <laughs> heaven, heaven will shake. Because the people that are supposed to be behind you, they are not there. And we don't do, we don't do politics. Hallelujah. Amen. We run away from politics. Politics is worldly things. It is a worldly thing in Jesus' name. Amen. Immediately one election, you carry your the whole. The leader, the number one leader, you run to state house. Why we are in state house? In state house, no politics. That is the house of politics, the center of politics. <laughs> you can see that church, most of these churches are scams, scammers. <laughs> they don't know what they are doing. <laughs> I've even forgotten, I've, I've even forgotten where. <laughs> <laughs> I've even forgotten where I am because I'm laughing because when I look at church what we teach what we teach our our children in church when we look at what we teach them I laugh the quality of the things that we teach them same as school I laugh how can you come to a church in a whole congregation Thousands of people are there. No one can define international monetary. No one know what IMF is. No one know basic knowledge of making money. No one knows basic knowledge of ruling a nation. That's why at the end of the day, we elect leaders. They love God, but they don't have knowledge of leadership. They love God. They go to church. Last, last, last week, I was showing you the president of Kenya that abandoned all the problems his country is facing and went to Israel to go and, and pray in a wall, in a block in Israel. That's, you see, we elect people that love God, but they don't have knowledge of leadership. That's why Africa is dying. Africa is collapsing. Africa is dying gradually. The late president of Tanzania, 
President Magufuli was a spiritual son to late Prophet T.B. Joshua. But that man never left his country one day to go to Israel. Even when T.B. Joshua was in Israel, T.B. Joshua invited him. He refused. He sent the wife to go and represent him. Because he knows that God is in our hearts. Your body is the temple. This is where God stays. Anywhere you kneel down and call upon God, He will answer you. You don't need to waste money, resources, carry delegates to go to Israel, to go and pray in a block, to go, we are going to pray in a wall. You are, you are wasting your time and your resources. Both politicians are men and women of God. You have a lot of problem in your country. You can't sit down and solve the problem. You are flying. You go to Israel. What are you going to do in Israel? Are you mad? What is there in Israel? Who is that Israel? What? Israel to do what? I know many people that died of BP because they borrowed the money from the bank to go to Israel. Now they came back with nothing. They came back. Their life became more miserable. They couldn't pay the loan. They cannot go back to man of God that took them there and say, you, you told us when we go to Israel and pray in the grave of Jesus, uh, 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 everything will be okay. Which grave? No one knows where Jesus is buried. No one, not even a single person can point to say this is where Jesus was buried. Because Israel was destroyed and the citizens of Israel scattered abroad. They scattered abroad. So we are that grave of Jesus that you go to, we are the, who told you that is there? So you see that we raise, we end up raising a spiritually sound leaders, but ignorant. Even in my own state here, I read that government sponsor people to go for pilgrimage. To go and do what in pilgrimage? There are people that need help in this state. That money, can, we can use it to construct a how many kilometer roads. Do something with that money here in Africa. Instead of giving it to Israel, you go there and give that money to Israel. Israel use it to buy weapon and fight country, innocent countries. And destroy innocent countries. That money that we are raising to go for pilgrimage in Israel, use it and eradicate poverty. At least you don't need to pay for that 1,000 people that will go to Israel. Go on the street and pick those street kids and give them that money. Use that money to feed them. Use that money to educate them. When they grow, they will build Africa. Africa will succeed. All the money that you have started giving to Israel since I was born. Say, you are going to Israel. I'm traveling to Israel. What has happened? What have you benefited from Israel? Mention one single thing that you have benefited from Israel. Nothing. And still from generation to generation. Because we are brainwashed. People are still going to Israel. We don't preach about heaven and hell in our church. Why? Because Africa, we are already in hell. We must find a way to come out. There are things that are affecting us. When you come to my ministry, you will see that it's rare you find younger people. Younger, you can see elderly people. You will see kings, kings, traditional rulers, top politicians, educated people. You, I mean, this is one of the churches where you will see professors. They are, they are serving as ushers. They are working. Lawyers. Barristers. They are serving in the ministry. Because they are learning something that they are supposed to learn instead of heaven. You go to heaven, you go to hell. Who has ever been to heaven before? Who has ever been to hell? We don't speak about those things in our church. We don't have those time. People are dying. People are in hell already. A person that is in hell do not need to be reminded that he must go to hell. Hell is already here in Africa. We must start educating our people. Now, if one of my son or daughter in, in the ministry takes over leadership or becomes a governor 
in Imo State or a president. No one will cheat them. IMF will not cheat them. Chinese will not cheat them. Because I've taught them the basic understanding. They didn't come to church to learn about heaven and hell. No. They have learned basic understanding. They will tell you, come here. You want to give us one billion dollars. What is your benefit? They have the understanding. That's why I have quality people. No matter what you say to a member of CR1, about CR1, they will never listen to you. Because they are so educated, more than what they are so intelligent, they understand that life is not all about you. Didn't come here just to die and go to heaven or die and go to hell. No, there is more to that. You are dying of hunger, and you have hope that when you go to heaven, that is where you eat. A person put in the Bible that, that a place. In the Bible, where we are going, whether it will be difficult for the rich to enter that place. It, it will be easy for a camel. You know what camel is? Camel with a big head to enter through the eye of a needle than for the rich to enter the kingdom of God. You heard it and say, oh, thank God, oh, let me become poor. That is for black people only. Are you following what I'm saying? That thing is for black people. That thing where you talk, it's only black person that will read that scripture and believe it. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.